we in the previous class discussed about the forecasting and its uh, importance and where we can use and all in this class methods of uh, demand forecasting how can we forecast the demand so the first method being survey of buyers intentions okay but this one this one will be suitable only for the short run usually the survey is uh, based on interview so the salesman will come and visit the customers home inspects whether they are uh, interested our product and how many goods they will consume for each and every month and based on that they will decide what could be the demand for our product what could be the demand for our product in that this interview technique no it's only interview method like yeah correct so we'll now move on to this methods of uh, demand forecasting and uh, this is the interview technique no that will be again uh, maybe in these three ways complete enumeration method enumeration method means uh, the interviewer or the salesman will come and uh, enumerate or uh, explain about the product and he put some questions from you and based on the faq he gets it from the customers he will decide what could be the demand for the product that will come under complete enumeration method a sample survey method sample survey method or particular locality they will decide in that locality how many customers are there what could be their consumer consumption pattern and demand pattern now everything will be taken if so uh demand having some impact in that particular locality what about the throughout the area can also be forecasted forecasted that will come under survey method and that too sample survey method survey method is nothing but meeting each and every people which is not really possible in a small locality they will just meet the people and they get the data whether they are in need of uh, the commodity what we produce and at what rate they are willing to take up now so that will be called sample induced method okay induce method for example how many cars sold in this year currently assume that uh, almost 1 uh, crore cars are there in the market assumed currently another 1 uh, uh, lakh cars sold in this month in this year okay in the year 2022 23 1 lakh cars sold from this what you can decide 1 crore car what could be the uh, petrol consumption in a day probably usually 1 liter per car is consumed then 1 crore means 1 crore liter petrol is consumed what about the petrols need in the next year as another another 1 lakh uh, uh, cars sold extra so definitely 1.01 crore liters of uh, petrol being in need so the need of petrol is decided based on the what the car car may be the finished goods this may be the raw material for that or ingredients for that or consumable for that similarly based on the consumption of finished goods how many finished goods are consumed and as the consumption of the finished goods so much and then what could be the demand for the materials used for furnishing this commodity can also be decided so these are the three methods we have in case of survey method in case of survey method is that okay and note this is always the question answer right so when we question the student means uh, the people and the cons consumer we usually won't get the real answer right buyers plans may not be real and tend to change they will say that because of the excitement and uh, not to disappoint the salesman we will say that okay we will purchase 10 or 15 so that will not always be real and there will be some flaw so there may be some error that error should be corrected while uh, measuring the exact demand right that is the advantage and uh, disadvantage of survey survey method right then we have collective opinion method we have collective opinion method so second one <coughs> opinion that's all opinion of few uh, around 5 to 10 people no they will share their opinion about the products demanded in the coming month and you just Uh, some of all those things so that will be the demand for your product that's called collective opinion and the collective opinion from whom you are going to be uh, this one is collected okay 
it may be salesman opinion salesman opinion okay ask the end line okay ceo and uh, produce production manager and marketing manager and the, under him n number of uh, salesmen will be there ask each and every salesman what could be the number of units capable of uh, sold by him so this one this one this one and make the summation of that that's what about collective opinion and salesman opinion taken after adjusting the bias that will be always bias okay what happens the market head will tell him you have to sell at least to 500 units else you will be thrown off uh, from the job then the salesman says sir i am capable of selling 1000 units whether he sells it or not at least he survives for one more extra month the same happens in the case of salesman right so in order to be in the job he guarantees that he will sell so much of units in the coming days always biased always biased it's not a uh, concrete one so we have to adjust for that bias number 1 and uh, adjusted for uh, changes in factors of demand okay we may say that uh, at most one lakh unit may be in the in need or demand in the coming days okay the price being the price being say rupees 100 suddenly the management made a decision to offer at a discount price probably 95 or 85 or 80 20% offer or 20% extra so that 20% extra or 30% offer will immediately tempt the buyers to purchase more than the number of quantities we supposed to think so the price will also be a matter suddenly the income of the entire consumer groups is increased there is a pay hike uh, throughout the nation so the government announces the seventh pay scale immediately there will be hike in the salary for the government employees that some immediately there will be impact in the uh, private employment also they will also demand sir so much of income is there for the government employee just give the hike for us also so suddenly there will be boom in the income so we thought the goods may be demanded for only 1000 units but because of the income increase uh, the quantity demanded may be from 1000 to 1100 or 1050 also so that may also be reason we may have incurred huge advertisement so that will also tempted to uh, tempted the consumers to buy more so that will also be having the impact in the demand for cash right so for these things you have to make a small adjustments adjusted for the changes in factors of demand price income and advertisement we have n number of things right because of the uh, changes in those factors of demand definitely there will be changes in the demand also and always remember this collective opinion method whatever it may be will be suitable for short run short run it will not have the long run benefits as salesman's perspective is restrictive so we we collect that from the salesman and salesman's opinion will be just a guess only so we will not rely on that so that will be a reason so sales for this uh, collective opinion method can be named as sales force opinion okay or grassroot approach grassroot approach means it's not the demand forecasted by the ceo but the root people salesman from there only we collected this uh, uh, the demand that's why it is called a grassroot approach grassroot approach is that clear now let's move on to the next one next one okay expert opinion method by interviews and questionnaire by interviews and questionnaire so interview is nothing but one on one question answer session so we'll ask each and every consumer for their own preferences over the product is called interview method in case of questionnaire in case of questionnaire we'll just circulate the question to be filled by the various consumers faq around 5 to 10 questions will be there you need to answer sometimes no in newspaper or some even in mobile app also you will get some questionnaires do you know this brand so if you are answering these questions and you will be honored with or given with a gift of rupees 2000 immediately you start typing the answers for all those things right do you know this product do you know what is the price of this product do you know where it is available see it is a type of marketing uh, if this price is uh, reduced to by another 5 rupees and will you purchase and after clicking all those things will you will may be given some price or you may not be given the price so they will say that better luck next time that's how that questionnaire may be sent even it's available newspaper even it's uh, now available in social media as also you can fill that you can fill that so such a way we will collect the information this is called questionnaire method so the difference between interview method and the questionnaire method is question sent and uh, get the feedback 
Interview method means one on one eye, on, eye contact will also be there and we collect the uh, data. This is called interview method. So these things will come under experts opinion method. Even Delphi method, this will be otherwise named as uh, Delphi method. Okay. Delphi method is nothing but uh, the experts are going to be um, uh, put in a lamp like uh, where the demo situation is given and they will then think over the demo situations so that the conclusions given by that will be suitable for the real environment right so that's what about delphi technique delphi technique is a demo situation right so when i was in college no so they also introduced the Del their delphi technique for the professors right uh, how do i how do us okay uh, say how do we uh, plan to support the students uh, uh, morale and uh, uh, means uh, violations of attendance and all then the department created a small small team like and uh, ask the each and every team member will discuss will discuss if student comes late and what would be the action taken by the management and uh, if the students comes late means the reasons behind the lateness okay Analyze in detail. Some some professors will tell, so we will not allow them to come inside. And some teachers will tell them, we have to ask the reasons for delayness. So all these things are put in a statement like, and later the small group head will come with an idea, sir, this is the suggestion given by our team members, sir. Using those ideas, they will come for a proper solution. That solution is really implemented in the college. So it's not directly implemented in the college okay because it is again ha having some uh, flaw so it will be discussed in a small group small group that's called delphi technique right uh, a dummy jail like uh, sim you can understand that the big boss also a small uh, uh, delphi technique big boss remember your character will not be always same for all the days right sometimes your character may be so uh, blossoming sometimes very fat and uh, everything will be there no okay sometime you may be close associated with uh, one of your friends and sometimes later you yourself get diverted from your friendship uh, you will think oh he is my close friend sometimes he is the worst fellow everything will come because our mind will be keeping on changing uh, how can we now adapt those different characters put the 10 people in a room and let them live for one month that's all everything will come out that's what about the big boss that big boss is such a little bit okay definitely see how do you survey in the practical environment if i am throwing you some other new places you are away from your parents you are living in some totally different uh, culture okay then how do you live hmm? you have to accustom with the people no first time it's enthusiasm but sometimes later you'll get totally disappointed totally disappointed you'll start scolding and it will irritate you then you need to build that character how do you build the character how do you build the character uh, put some Delphi technique. Delphi technique is in a small room where 10 different characters of people put in and live, allowed to live for 10 days. The close friend by the end of the 10th date will be the close enemy then. So everything will happen. So then we will guide. There will be a guide will be there and they will guide you. So these are the characters of the people you have to understand and you have to mingle them. The enmity will come and uh, friendship and loyalty will come and go. But reality is there. Reality is there. You need to understand the reality. Okay. We will train them and it's what about the moral change and the character change. Then they will live better in the society. How do you know, sir? Because I have underwent so many trainings also. Uh, I was put in a group where I was given a group where five of our group teams, all five of our uh, group team, all the five are in totally different directions. If the time is nine, I should always be nine. One of my friends in that group, nine minutes is always nine in the night. I am talking about the morning, he talks about the night. Okay. Another fellow, see, I want to do that's all, no? I'll do at that, whatever the time may be. So, versatile group. But the team head means the trainer told us, your team will be qualified. Only as a team wins. Oh my God, I want to do it seriously. That fellow, I don't want to win. <laughs> So, those, so much, you, you don't want to win because your parent already accumulated so much of wealth, you don't need to have the money. But I want to live with that money only, uh, cooperate with me. But somehow we will manage. One of my close friends who is in Coimbatore uh, was also in my team. 
horrible to coordinate with him then went on but after the session no we realized that it's a character of him and it's my character and later he suggested me one of the best to try nuts and that fetched me a good uh, amount of income for almost 2 years okay see we had a spark so like, this fellow is not working at all i want to work so i am work alcoholic but he is always uh, jolly mood okay later only i realized he is really enjoying the life throughout uh, his own life span okay very often i saw him sharing i visited this country i visited i am returning from this country as per my dream i have to visit 10 countries now i am closing my 10th countries visit oh my god i am not able to think about moving from even singer academy sometimes okay uh, anyhow that's the character that's the character that character molding character molding and after uh, the training program also no i thought we should not now create any friendship here more with that team but later only realized when they are in need of my sort of training they referred me and when i am i am in, in need of uh, traveling to lots of places i immediately contacted him this is what about the uniqueness of versatility so all these things are versatile but we need to have the uniqueness that's called delphi technique so delphi technique can be used in any, any places any places right whatever the training you want to do you can do it whatever the whatever the things may be Uh, that uh, model exams what we conduct is also difficult thing right okay you yourself take the pressure and writing the exams because you are going to see the real exams later okay real exams later anyhow the class test will have no impact at all still you have the feel when we announce that i am going to give the mark sheet then immediately you will have some small tension anyhow it has no use at all yes sir yes sir no the same happens that's called delphi tech it's a, what about the model obtaining opinion of experts by well designed questionnaire okay well the designed questionnaire a small model we give the questionnaire ask them to think uh, think about the these questions and answer that that's called delphi tech it's a model right Op- obtaining opinion of experts so what is your opinion about the question paper and uh, result a model question So if you are getting yourself feeling about that, then they will be happy to answer the real exams better. The same happens. Uh, Delphi techniques is nothing but a model questionnaire to get the, what could be the demand for our product, and later they will predict this could be the demand in the coming days. And of course, we have the statistical methods. You might have studied that, or you may be studying that in your stats, right? The best one. So these are the three methods we have. So you might have studied all the three methods, right? graphical methods this graphical method is, you might have studied in the name of scatter diagram isn't it you have studied the scatter diagram in stats right scatter diagram or regression analysis you might have studied right so y on x and x on y these two will be regression analysis okay what happens okay if the x line is this way and what could be the y line that's what about the regression analysis for example in 2015 2016 2017 and 2018 in 2015 the demand is 10 and 2016 demand is 12 and 2017 demand is 14 what about the demand in 2018 right you can f- find out that the demand in 2018 by using the regression line isn't it and you, even it, you can get it through graphical method so graphical method is nothing but plot that here plot that here okay so here 15 16 17 18 and here we will start with this in 10 12 and 14 this is called scatter diagram right so when the year being 2015 the demand being 15 as uh, a 10 when the year 2016 we had a demand of 12 and then 14 and what about then so you can connect these dots okay now you can predict in in this period it may be anywhere between 15 to 16 or 16 this is called scatter diagram or uh, this is also again y on x or x on y this method of uh, projecting trend projection method this will be otherwise named as trend projection method so we can project what could be the subsequent periods uh, demand coming under graphical method and uh, fitting trend equation or least square method that will be also you might have studied okay how do you study y is equal to a plus bx right that's a equation that's called least square method and regression analysis these are the statistical methods you can use for projecting the future and uh, you can estimate the demand also okay
now then we have uh, controlled uh, experiments controlled experiments okay controlled experiments test marketing that's all test marketing controlled experiment is nothing but test marketing i i also went for a training program uh, in bangalore i i was trained and i also give the training it's a wonderful launching program i participated in that so launching of a new product the new product being dna okay so dna is nothing but daily news analysis dna is a daily news analysis you don't get confused with the dna what you know in science it's a dna but they have promoted in such a manner so fantastic way of promotion and uh, uh, i was one of the part of that so, so being the trainer uh the dna was a famous vernacular newspaper and local newspaper in mumbai it's available in english as well as in hindi there in uh, mumbai daily daily news analysis they wanted to launch their product in bangalore in kem so they designed uh, almost a four way of targeting the market four way of targeting the market one is uh, through advertisement advertisement in uh, Hoardings and all, okay. Hoardings and all, and boards, big big board in the road sign. Another one is newspaper and the local TV, newspapers and local TV, okay. And the um, means airway, okay. TV, whatever it may be, radio, everything. Another one is a team to design how to move on, how to move on, okay. Team to design how to move on. The another team is uh, training the sales people. sales people training the sales people where i was is very simple i was here i was training the sales people almost 1500 sales people were there 1500 sales people we have a team of 50 trainers we have a team of 50 trainers each and every trainer will train 50 candidates so almost roughly 2500 uh, trainees with the 2500 okay and in our team we we had around 30 trainers and 1000 trainer training okay in our team 30 trainers and 1000 finder trainees the trainees are the sales people sales people while launching the dna no dna what comes to your mind suddenly that cell and all no beautifully it's uh, given here are they i love dna and i know i will catch up the dna because already the dna is in me that's how the hoardings will promoted throughout the bangalore city for almost a month period they will change the word is day by day no one knows what is dna okay i was training here i was also aware about that they told me sir we are promoting in a different angle there's uh, some hoardings available stating about dna's uh, presence in bangalore uh, some days right then what's our role see you now catch up with the new idea what's dna you, you are curious to know what is dna it's exactly the full name is not disclosed anyway daily news analysis is not disclosed anyway simply dna no wherever you just go dna is now in bangalore dna is now in bangalore i know i will love it because it is already in me so 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 wordings also so Uh, but, but all those wordings, wordings are out of my memory now. It's so beautifully designed. After training, because my cousin was there, so I stayed in my cousin's home while being the trainer there. I used to go there by my cousin's bike only. Okay, so it's a hectic traffic road there, especially MG road and all. No, so I had to travel from there only. So hectic traffic. Suddenly, I saw the big hoarding DNA. Oh my God! This is where I'm also part of it. and this training no the for all the 1500 uh, means marketing people were trained myself given 50 trainees similarly 30 trainers are given are assigned each and every trainers around 50 assets we train them how do you present the paper how do you explain about the product how do they react if the customer uh, says that i don't want so no, all these things are pre formatted okay if even one salesman speaks uh, uh, something deviated then it will be a creating mess about the dna company so they don't want to want uh, to speak their own they want to ensure the proper delivery 
since the way of dog, knocking the door, presenting the paper, explaining the paper, only a set of sen 10 sentences, they don't speak more than the 10 sentences. We have to train them in such a way the body language and the politeness should be there in the body language, everything for an 11 days period. So, we trained all the 50. These 2500 uh, trainees knock almost 100 doors in a day. In a day. Once we started, it is now started the marketing. Immediately, they will start knocking the doors. Almost two and a half lakhs houses will be knocked in a day. Two and a half houses, lakhs houses. In a one month period, almost they might have covered uh, almost all the places in Bangalore. They might have covered. Okay, whether they purchase it or not, they will cover up. Now, the surprise thing is the CEO, CEO of this DNA, Pavan. Okay, his name was Pavan. Suddenly came a day and he directed us, you can change these sentences, don't use these sentences while going for six. We surprised, being the DNA, it's almost 500 crore rupees worth of business. Their business is more than 500 crores, big business. The head, the head comes and talks to the trainers, sir, kindly change these sentences in this way. You can change and promote this way and retrain them. You can extend one more extra day to train them. So that's how we went. And only we know how did he know that to change the sentences. He went for marketing by door to door canvassing for almost three days. While delivering, he got some feedback and he changed the feedback. I surprised even find a course what the business is doing, ready to take uh, the challenge to knock the doors to sell the paper. The paper is a matter of one rupee. While launching, it's 1.125 paise. That's one rupee, 25 paise. They launched a one rupee paper. They started selling it to, by road by knocking each and every day. You just think over if I give you send some 10 or 15 notes to be sold in the roadside, how do you feel embracing or not? Oh my, my God, how do I sell the note to the people, uh, to unknown people? And that fellow who is being the owner of 500 crore rupees worth of business is willing to sell the product. Okay because it's his own business and commitment. Now, what we do in our uh, UG and whatever it may be, marketing management, we'll study and write and pass the examination. Are you able to be, uh, are you capable of selling any product? It's no. This is called controlled experiments. He does an experiment in a small venue and he trains some people and uh, it is done in the training area by us. I, we ask them to sell within that same 150 people. They will try to sell, they will feel sometimes embarrassing, they are not able to say, speak, they feel blabbering and all. Even that controlled environment, all the 50 people are their own friends. It's a matter of 11 days training, so within two, two to three days, they become friends. So even if you are uh, cap not capable of selling the product to your friends, how will you sell in the local market in Bangalore, in street? So it's the experiment, controlled experiment. So. Test marketing by changing the determinants of demand. So, we will test this uh, power the owner of this uh, tested by selling the products here. Used less at its costly and risky and it is always costly and risky. So, training so much of people now, uh, the, the paid as the, for training and the money is almost 80,000 rupees worth for Sridhar alone for 20 days of training. Just think of it happened in 2009. Now it may be around the 2 lakhs, this cost, right? So much of worth they spent for this and for how many trainers? We had around 50 trainers. Think the massive investments they have done. So it's crores by the time, almost to 7 or 8 crores they invested for launching the product in Bangalore. Then they again launched in Hyderabad also. And market experiments can be replaced by controlled laboratory experiments and consumer clinic. He went and he tried something and they found that it is not working and immediately trying back here. So that's called controlled experiment. That is called controlled experiment. So I give the incident here to share to understand what is called controlled experiments. A test marketing by changing the determinants of demand, price and uh, products shape and size, content, all these things. These are the factors determining the demand. While selling that, no, so ground root trade level, I am understanding the consumer's requirement, I will just change, change and resell the same place again to confirm which uh, type of product is uh, really saleable and then it is desired. 
but it is used less because it's already costlier no i already told you no for launching the dna in uh, bangalore like city they spend closer to 10 crore rupees closer to 10 crores is huge money right okay and the market experiments can be replaced by controlled laboratory experiments or consumer cleaning we usually don't do the market experiment directly because we first of all do that in controlled laboratory experiments and consumer clinic like it's a known people in a small team once it is confirmed then we'll go for the mass market experiments is that okay either we can go for the market experiment directly the pavan did no but he himself being the owner he knows uh, the beat he will not lose the money but if unknown uh, the salesman is sent no he immediately spoils the business he immediately spoils the business so uh, the salesman will be trained in a controlled laboratory okay this will be coming under controlled experiments sixth one is barometric method of forecasting barometric barometric is nothing but a measurement why do we for where we are using the barometric a meteorologist uses barometer to forecast weather right weather forecast is done by what barometric isn't it thermometer is for uh, what heat okay do you have fever or not again we depend on thermometer similarly to forecast whether the rain will come or not we need to have the barometer the person who measures that is called meteorologist so meteorologist use the barometer to forecast the weather similarly similarly economist use some economic indicators okay so what the barometer says what the uh, Fahrenheit says whether do we have fever or not. Hmm? What's the uh, perfect temperature we need to have in Fahrenheit? Huh? What's the perfect temperature we need to have? Sir, I don't know, sir. Anyhow, I am perfect, sir. Huh? Okay. <laughs> huh? You know that, no, uh, the thermometer, thermometer uh, that uh, uh, during the COVID. For each and every organization, we need to have what the thermometer to test the heat of the consumer entering. Another one is uh, hand sanitizer. These two. A joke is there. Everybody had the thermometer. They don't know what number should be there to allow in. Come on, you tell me. Huh? Fahrenheit. <laughs> We have Google here. Okay. <laughs> huh? Body temperature. Okay. 37 Celsius. I asked in Fahrenheit. Okay. Okay. 97 to 99. Even you gave me the answer in a guessing work. What happens a layman or a watchman who is given the thermometer to test? He will just test. Okay, go. Go. <laughs> he just shoots. I don't know why he shoots this way. Huh? Thermometer. He has to verify that the temperature of the consumer coming inside should be within this range. Only it should be a load. Right. Sir, no? What about in Singer Academy, sir? We to have that. Okay. And you will understand this. That's all. See, that's what about the indicator. This number should be safer. 97 to 98, 99 will be safer. In case of Fahrenheit, in case of Celsius, 37 is safe. Beyond that and uh, lesser than that will be a uh, trouble. So, may be sent out. Okay. You need to take rest and uh, take the pills and all. Similarly, forecast also studied for an economist. Economic indicators will be there to decide where what could be the demand for the goods. What about the indicators? Indicators is nothing but inflation, inflation rate, growth rate, GDP rate. Okay, all these things are indicator. If the economy shows a recession period, what does it mean? So any of the problem will be there, then definitely there will not be any sales. You have to reduce your production also. During the COVID lockdown, every first time in, uh, I could num remember that in April, May, 
hardly only two cars were sold by maruti maruti company sold only two cars that month only two cars throughout india what about the other car company nothing sold only two cars sold by maruti company no one can come out everything is locked down how can we then sell so no possibilities of sales at all no sales no production and no business at all so economy is in recession that time india faced a reversal uh, growth rather than positive growth there was a negative growth so that will be an indicator if the economy is growing fast then we can produce a lot if the economy is uh, growing uh, in a reverse way then we have to produce less that is what about economic indicator okay economic indicator let's see here an index of a relevant economic indicators is constructed for this purpose for this purpose you have to first construct an in indicator and understand the movement of these index okay for forecasting how many of you heard about sensex hmm? so sensex you have heard about what is called sensex Huh? sensitivity index for the sensitivity first four letters will taken uh, uh, four letters are taken an index in the last two eight letters were uh, taken so sensex is nothing but a combination of sensitivity index right actually 30 companies 30 companies market value 30 companies market value market value is nothing but number of shares multiplied with the market price per share that's called market value 1 lakh uh, shares are there for company A and the market price of the share being 100 then if you multiply then this is called 100 lakhs the company is worth this 100 lakhs that's called market value similarly you count the top 30 companies market value and sum that that may be assumed to be say around uh, 100 crore rupees around 100 crore rupees number of companies this is what about the market value of the companies okay and the share price in the market no 100 rupees may go up to 105 or may fall down to 98 no the market price is always fluctuating similarly the market price may be fluctuate if the price is fluctuating from 100 to 105 okay this 1 lakh into 105 then it is 105 lakhs am i right the market value of the company is 100 lakhs suddenly the price of the share increases from 100 to 105 the same number of 1 lakh share is multiplied with 105 is now 105 lakhs the company's worth is increasing by 5 lakhs similarly calculate for all the 30 companies calculate for all the 30 companies what could be the market value for the 30 companies sir the market value of all the 30 companies is now not 100 crores it's now 100 and 15 crores are right now listen when the market value is 100 crore is equated with 100 equated with 100 100 crore is equated with 100 means 115 crore could be what okay if i tell you 100 crore rupees market value is increased to 115 crores pretty simple okay but it's not 100 crores 123 crores 45 lakhs 32,457.25 is increases to you tell stop talking about share market isn't it so if i tell this way it's really confusing now i'm con I, I just convert that to into round number like 100 crores that 100 crore is now simplified, simplified as 100. What is the market value today? 100 points, sir. So simple, no? If the entire market value of the 30 company share price increases from 100 to 115, 15 percentage growth is there, then the points also increases to 150. Now, sir, yesterday the market value is 100 points, sir. Today, 115. Suddenly, it gives an idea that market value increased by 15 points. Which is easy, telling this way, this way or this way. This way is now working. This is called Sensex. In 1979, this was profounded. In 81, they started with this one. 
30 companies market value whatever the market value could be equated to 100 rupees only as the market value of these 30 company changes no as per the change then the 100 points is changed now the 100 points is becoming equal to 50,000 points how many times rotated repeated 500 times increased the market value of all the top class companies in India increased to by 500 times economic growth over how many years 80s to uh, 22 42 years in 42 years the growth of our market stock market is almost 500 times 1 rupee become five, five, becomes 500 rupees so simple right so this is called index this is called index this is what about the market index this is what about the market index okay see what is the today's market value today's market value hmm? 60,000 points what is the today's market value 60,000 then I told you 50 it is now 60 100 rupees becomes 60,000 now means 600 times grow and what about this R nifty that is another index, that is another index, nifty is another index, okay. nifty is another index, what is the current point, it is almost closer to 18,000 points, originally it was only 1000 points, when in 1995, in 1995 the points were 50 companies market value is equated to 1000, now the same 50 companies value is 18,000, 18 times growth is there over uh, 25 years 27 years over 27 years so this is called index this is called index is it okay similarly for you you can create an index what do you have to create an index like your mark in economics and your mark in max uh, accounts and all this put together equated to 100 from the last exams this exam how much is your mark growing very simple huh? Seems to be joking, but it's a reality. Are you improving at least five percent in the extra mark than the earlier examination? Happy then. Similarly, what is your sales? Last year it is five lakhs. Sir. Uh, earlier to that four lakhs. Sir. Earlier to that three lakhs. Sir. One lakh is increasing. What could be the next year? We can have the parameter and index for that. So, an index of relevant economic indicator is constructed. Here, Sensex is an index for. Sensex is the index for what? Bombay Stock Exchange share price movement. Nifty is for the National Stock Exchange price movement. I want to know what about my mark movement? Huh? What, what about my mark movement? You can also construct your index for development. Similarly, whatever the business you do, you can construct a parameter here, an index here. It's so a param parametric. That's what about parameter. And how much is movement is there? Today the sensex increases by 500 points immediately shows an increasing trend similarly what about the index you fix and if it increases then it shows an increasing trend and decreasing means the reversal trend. There are there are leading indicators, lagging indicators, coincidental indicators. So we can have the indicators, indexes. The indexes can be the leading indicators, lagging indicators coincidental indicators right leading indicators huge orders for capital goods is the leading indicators okay huge orders for uh, capital goods is the leading indicator leading indicator is nothing but whatever the things will come the next day sir wait i will tell today itself whatever the things comes the next day i will tell you uh, tell you today itself what will be your result in your examination can I tell today? Yeah, of course, I can tell definitely today. If you are constantly preparing the examination, if you are constantly finishing your assignment, if you are constantly uh, writing the test and showing the improvement, guarantee I will show your result before the result. Is that no? Uh, then you can say, my teacher is a leading indicator. <laughs> okay. And always the love and affection will be a lagging indicator. Your parents will tell. Oh my God, lead. Because that's a lagging indicator. Teacher only knows the leading indicator, right? 
leading indicator is nothing but whatever the thing happens in the coming days can be predicted ahead can be predicted ahead symptoms symptoms we know that symptoms are ahead huge order for capital goods assume that huge order for capital goods what happens car car purchased by cars purchased by uh, drivers a lot increased by 50 percentage what does it mean hereafter tourism business will grow hereafter caps business will grow hereafter so the cash bill business as well as tourism business growth is predicted ahead when car sale is higher as the car sale is shooted up why the cars are sold so much we surprised oh my god car is shooted up because so many people are now coming for the driving business why the tourism business is in need and caps business is in need okay around before the ola and uh, uber we used to travel only by auto, rarely car, now parallel car, isn't it? 50% car and 50% auto. In Chennai, no, 70% car and only 30% auto. Just think over, sometimes later, no, auto business will go off, isn't it? Want to be comfortable. So that's only because of Vola and this one. Sudden pickup uh, of Vola and car sale is the uh, indicated that the hereafter the car business will be picked up means cabs rental and tourist business will be picking up so the capital goods order is a decision or is the indicator that the raw that the finished goods are the things what we are going to use are produced using the capital goods will be needed more lagging indicators lagging indicators heavy household electrical connections after construction in past okay heavy household heavy household electrical connection suddenly there is lots of electrical connections they are waiting in their T, tamil nadu eb okay tamil nadu eb usually five connections applied for find the connections applied for the tamil nadu eb is thinking only five new connections were expected by suddenly this time find the eb is where they connections where they because this is the indicator. Something happened before that. Find a new house properties were constructed. So the number of new connections applied for is the indicator that something happened beforehand. Lagging. This one. This one indicates me huge construction happened for the new house properties. But when earlier, then it's called lagging indicator. And both will be parallelly happen, which is called coincidental indicators. Coincidental indicators, simultaneous change. Okay, simultaneous change. Example: rate of employment. Rate of employment increases. Economy is growing, and there will be demand also increasing. Everything is simultaneous. If you are getting employment, what will happen? You get income. If you get income, what happens? You will spend. So the spending, employment, everything will be concurrent. That's called concurrent means coincidental. Right? Both will happen parallelly. Okay, producers are willing and able to offer to the market at various prices. Okay, willing and able to offer. That's the main motto. What goods and services for a price in a given time? Okay. The two important points that you have to keep in your mind is supply re refers to what firms offer for sale, not really selling. So offer for sale is the matter, not real sales. I could have so I could have displayed for sale, but it would not be sold. But anyhow, I am capable of selling that, right? No, that is coming into supply. And supply is a flow. There also we have seen demand is a flow. Demand is a flow and supply is a flow. So flow means that supply of some commodity for a given time is called flow. Flow of supply. Five units are in need, or five units are in uh, is going to be supplied. That five units of supply is what time at what price? Always associated with the time and the price. If it is associated with the time of supply, then it's called flow of supply.
the quantity supplied is so much per unit of time like per day per week per year there we have seen in demand determinants of demand here also we have determinants of supply right there in demand also we classified the determinants of demand in two types determinants of demand price of the commodity and uh, other than that similarly here also price of the goods other than that so two classifications are there how the supply is getting affected because price of the goods if the price of the goods is higher then the quantity supplied will be higher okay price increases quantity demanded decreases price decreases quantity demanded increases right that's what about the law of demand law of supply deals with this way price increases so quantity supplied also increases because more the price more will be the profit so supplier is happy to supply more if the price is higher hope you can understand and price decreases then definitely the margin or the profit is lesser so the suppliers are unhappy because the return is lesser so the quantity supplied also reduced this is called law of supply okay just the inverse of uh, law of demand the between these two we have seen the negative relationship inverse relationship right usually when you calculate the uh, law of demand or uh, uh, elasticity of demand it shows uh, negative signs but anyhow we never mind about the negative signs represents inverse relationship but when it comes for the price and quantity supplied as per the law of supply this will be positive side it means direct relationship direct relationship so price of the goods is the first uh, criteria determinants of supply other than that also we have other than that right uh, like uh, price of the related commodities price of the factors of production state of technology government policy nature of competition and size of industry and other factors we'll deal all these things one by one in detail in this in this class right determinants of supply determinants of supply price of the goods price of the goods satris paribas satri paribas means other things being equal you what you studied in uh, law of demand will be applicable here also only one thing is inversely related there but here it directly related the relationship between the price and quantity supplied are directly related direct proportion and directly related because of the profitability why it is directly related more profit more profit more price more profit will be there so they are very happy to get more profit by selling more quantity and now you can connect the relationship between the price and quantity supplied this way it's not uh, supplied quantity supplied there also it's not uh, demand it's only quantity demanded right we won't call that as increase in demand decrease in demand we call that as increase in quantity demanded and decrease in quantity demanded right ditto will be available here also with respect to the price change of the commodity supply the quantity supplied will be either increasing or decreasing you don't call that as increase in supply it's increase in quantity supply okay increase in quantity supply increase in supply yeah of course there is increase in supply also right can you guess what is the difference between increase in quantity supply and increase in supply hmm what is called increase in quantity uh, supply and increase in supply yeah come on increase in quantity demanded and increase in demand what is called what is the difference between this one and this one come on yes yeah so very good so answer is posted in the chat box very good this is because of price this is what because of other than price isn't it this will be called as movement along the curve this is called movement it's not movement along the curve shift of the curve shift of the curve the thing what you learned for uh, demand ditto will be applicable here also because of the price of the commodity what is the change in the quantity supplied if you study these two connections then it is called direct relationship and uh, uh, quantity supplied change in quantity supplied okay contraction as well as expansion but other than the price of the commodity of course the supply also gets affected that will be studied as uh, um, um, increase in supply or decrease in supply there will be shift in the curve there will be shift in the curve is that okay hope so you could now understand 
higher the price and uh, higher the quantity supplied lesser the price and quantity supplied also lesser clear this is called price of the commodity cetri sparipus and it will be direct proportion or directly related the intention because of uh, higher supply when the price is higher is only due to profitability when the price is higher the profitability is higher i i am willing to take up more profit by supplying more that's a logic behind determinants of demand other than that we'll see now price of the commodity matters let's deal with the other than the price of the commodity and quantity supplied here price of the related commodity price of the related commodity i am a farmer growing wheat or i am possible to grow corn also if the market is ready to pay more for corn rather than wheat what do i do i do what do i do i stop cultivating wheat and i shift myself cultivating the corn right the product which gives more profit i'll start producing that if the price of the wheat is higher at and uh, what do i do quantity supplied of uh, wheat is higher at. and quantity supplied of uh, corn because i can either supply the wheat or corn i have a, uh, a limited area i can either cultivate the wheat or corn or do i want to cultivate as the price of wheat is higher more profitable i cultivate more of wheat not the corn so i'll reduce the supply of corn if the price of the wheat is decreasing profit is very less said so i'll stop cultivating the wheat i'll stop cultivating the wheat and then the space saved because of non cultivation of wheat can be used for cultivating the corn the corn supply will be increasing now forget about this one price of the wheat and uh, quantity supply of corn is going to be linked price increases quantity supply of corn decreases and price of the wheat decreases quantity supply of corn is increasing inverse relationship or indirect relationship so the relationship should be the minus one shift in cultivation from corn to wheat and vice versa this will be indirect proportion or inverse relationship is that okay clear in the case of supply and price of the factors of production price of the factors of production um i could still remember in my college days uh, in my college days before your birth okay to be more precise uh i can put my book in xerox or photocopy for a matter of 35 paise per page now what is the price maximum 1 rupee maximum 1 rupee how many times uh, increased almost three times less than three times this is what about the photocopy even if you go for bulk printing you can uh, print at 50 paise sometimes it's only 50 paise am i right so one copy single copy mean, means it may be cost here by the time also it's cost here now it's only 50 paise hardly 50 percentage increase in value by the time one cup of tea in the tea shop is 1 rupee 50 paise now how much is that now growth of the tea is increasing how many times seven times what about the growth of uh, price of the xerox it's only one and a half times why here the factor of factor of uh, production is uh, labor t master here the factor of production is machine and ink the machine and ink price decreases and comes more effective and the labor cost is constantly increasing the labor always demands as per the current market value sir give me increase in salary i cannot work here after but the machine keeps working without demanding for any tea biscuits and all right but the tea master demands tea isn't it so there is no change here but there is a change the factors price is 
higher -er, higher -er. if the factor price is higher -er. machine price factor price this is a factors of production higher -er. if the factor price increases higher -er, profit decreases right so profit decreases as it increases the profit decreases then quantity supplied should also be decreasing if the factor price is decreasing price is uh, profitability is increasing quantity supplied is also increasing forget about that here t because t master is a factor who demands more then automatically what happens unless you change the price then quantity supplied will be decreasing and in case of machine jerox machine the factors of production value is still the same or less more efficient product uh, machine comes where the efficient product prints more faster and also the cost is also very lesser then automatically what happens the profit increases i am willing to supply more if the factors of production is higher indirectly it leads to lesser pro profit that lesser pro uh, profit makes me to supply lesser if the cost of factor is lesser i am willing to supply more because lesser cost of product uh, means cost of factor gives me more profit to get more profit i will supply more so these two will have inverse relationship how the relationship will be the inverse if the higher dependency on the factor okay so this uh, printing is always dependent on the machines only higher dependent on that machine that machine is now cheaper and then the ink garbage whatever it may be a refilling is also cheaper so factor of production is cheaper i am getting more profit i am willing to supply more and in the reverse case the vice versa so price of the factor of production state of technology state of technology okay the same you can now link here higher then quantity supplied is also higher the machine Gerard's machine is now uh, uh, different and the technology also improved and uh, your mobile phone day by day the new mobile phone will be superior than the earlier model the technology is improving and the manufacturing capacity of the machines what we possess is also increasing as the technology is superior and uh, it can be used for uh, increased productions with a cheaper rate I enjoy more profit as I am enjoying more profit the quantity supplied is also higher okay the same xerox uh, machines in the case of t master the, the the efficiency of the t master remains the same there will not be any change right sir how can you equate the t master with the machine sir just think over t master will be the same t master year after year so he produces the same number of t's but if you have the t machines where it is superior to produce uh, without wastage much quicker way in a cheaper manner then I am willing to supply more tea, right? It's also possible. So, state of technology also matter. Where there is a technology and then technology is also improving year after year, definitely the product becomes cheaper and the supplier is also willing to supply more. So, higher the technology, higher the quantity supplied. So, direct relationship, direct relationship. So, so you have to understand the factors of production and then the link, and then the link. And D, government policy. Sometimes uh, government may plan to uh, reduce the consumption of some of the commodities like uh, uh, this one, uh, the tobacco products and alcoholic products. Government will levy huge taxes in order to induce the supply of that product will be lesser. Is that okay? That will be called a sin tax. You are doing some sin, for that you have to pay the tax to the government. That's why it is called sin tax. Sometimes it may be named the tax levied on cinema theatre and tax levied on uh, alcoholic uh, products as well as uh, uh, tobacco products and if you want to purchase a uh, probably this one electricity and uh, alternate electricity like uh, solar panel for all government is very happy you have to invest more on that if you are purchasing those kinds of material government will give the subsidy if the machine is one lakh government will give you 40,000 rupees you just pay 60 balance will be burned by the government that will be coming under subsidies. So, as the subsidy is there, the buyers are happy, right? I am being the manufacturer, I have to purchase the solar panel and supply you the electricity, whatever it may be, just imagine. 
So that solar panel purchasing will be subsidized by the government and it's cheaper and more profitable for the supplier for me. As the government subsidy is increasing, I'm purchasing more and supplying more also. So there will be supply increase also parallelly. Higher are the tax and the lesser will be the quantity supplied. Higher are the subsidy and higher are the supply. That's what about the uh, government policy here. And the nature of competition and size of the industry. More competitors if they then automatically there will be more supply. If there is no competition, then no other way you have to uh, buy as a consumer, you have to buy the price fixed by the supplier. Then supply is very rigid in the supply. If there is a huge competition, stiff competition, then what happens? So, it has, you might have heard about the uh, Geo's launching. Okay, Artel launched beforehand. Okay, with so much of advertisements. So I just surprised to see wherever I go, the advertisement of Artel. So many places. How many of you watched the Airtel advertisement? Huh? So many. Okay. Still it is now in your memory. Yeah, wherever you go in the roadside also big folding and whenever you open the TV there will be uh, a fight and a competition for the data uh, speed and all. So many advertisements. I surprised. Already I purchased that. Why do you advertise me? If you are advertising that and that cost also will be burned by the consumer like me. And Geo K. How many of you seen the Geo's advertisement? Yeah, how many of Where did you see Geo's advertisement? That's a recently. That's a sponsor. Okay, that's also a type of advertisement. Predominantly no advertisement. Okay. Geo came into the market without single penny of advertisement. They offered one year subscription free. How many of you know that? I enjoy almost six months subscription free. My friend who came to me, by the time I was using Atel 3G and uh, Geo came with 4G, my friend told me, I am using 4G, everything free. I am surprised because by the time 1 GB data charged for 250 by Atel, 1 GB. My friend told me, I am consuming around 10 GB a day without even single penny. 10 GB, 10 into 2,500 rupees you are consuming a day. Oh, hey, don't tell me like, no, no, no. Then I will also try a limit. Get me a, a SIM. And I started enjoying. Now what happens? Almost uh, 500 rupees in a month for 2 GB per day free. Almost 60 GB for 500 rupees in a month. See it? How much is uh, your payment now for the whatever the connection you have today? Monthly connection fee? Yeah? Huh? Huh? 266 uh, 300 rupees what is a gb free 215 1.5 gb per day into 30 45 gb hmm? okay 28 days leave it i can round it off if you think about our in our days now 1 gb is equal to 250 you are consuming 1.5 GB for 30 days, almost 45 or 40 as per your uh, quote. Just see, in our days we paid 250 per GB for 40. You just imagine it's almost uh, 10,000 MRA. This is the fee I paid. But you are paying only 215 rupees. That rate came down only because of you. More the competition, competitors and more the supply will be there with the cheapest price. That will also be factors of uh, supply. Then some other factors also we have like uh, foreign policy, goals of the firm, uh, marker structure, natural factors etc. So though we have others also, foreign policy. We want to launch our product in foreign countries also. In that case, to capture the foreign market, we may offer at the discounted price also possible. You will study all these things in detail with the mathematical calculations at your internal level. Management, company will have the policy. We have 1 lakh rupees of, uh, 1 lakh units of sales. Can we make it 1.5 lakhs at any cost? Increase the cost and reduce the sale price and whatever it may be more, we try to increase. Such a way the government, the company may have the policy. Our goals, that goals will also be a reason for the uh, supply effect, uh, supply, the effect on supply. Market, market structure. So, market structure will also be a reason. 
natural factors also being a reason. So these are the factors we have. Now, in case of factors of uh, supply, price of the commodity is one of the factors of supply. Others will be the other factors of supply. So in such a way we can classify into two blocks, two blocks. And here direct proportion. Price of the related commodity, what relationship we have? Direct or indirect, related commodity. Related commodity means, what is that? Wheat and corn, wheat and corn. If the wheat price is higher, we supply more of wheat and we reduce supplying the corn. So, indirect uh, relationship. This is indirect relationship. We are going to discuss the price of the wheat and uh, quantity supplied of corn. Okay. Price of wheat increases, then automatically quantity supplied of wheat is also increasing. But because of uh, using the area for producing or cultivating the wheat, and the quantity supplied of corn will be decreasing. Now, my intention is to comparing the price of the wheat and uh, quantity supplied of corn. So, these two are inversely related. And factors of production, if the factors of production is, uh, is uh, decreasing, I am able to produce uh, the same commodity with a much cheaper way, cheaper rate. Cheaper rate of production means higher profit, so I will be supplying more. Okay, so if the factors of production price is decreasing, I will supply more, also inversely related. State of technology, if the modern technology is introduced for the machines, that can be capable of producing a large unit at the much cheaper rate, so I will be enjoying more profit. So, state of technology is increasing, then I am able to supply more, and uh, you know, vice versa. Then it is direct proportion relationship. Government policy, more of the tax reduces the supply, more of the subsidy increases the supply. That is the relationship. And higher the competition and more the uh, supply with the cheaper rate also possible. And other factors also there. Is that okay? Come on, make a note of it.